In the 1960s, Chevrolet did not have official sponsorship or involvement in racing. So there's all of this mystery and intrigue with the relationship that Chevrolet had with Jim Hall and the Chaparral. It was kind of a research uh, association and development, and uh, well, certainly they helped us a good deal, and, and uh, I think we helped them. It was a good interchange, and uh, I always felt really good about it. It was a, a, a fun time in my life to work with a bunch of guys that, that wanted to find out, and that's what I was interested in, learning about how to make them go better. That spirit of innovation, the spirit of exploring the unknown, is really what defined that relationship between Chevrolet and Chaparral. And that really was kind of the, the storyline that we wanted this project to really revisit, is what could be. The flying suit was a very uh, strong inspiration for me. Head first, belly on the ground, and pretty much have a sense of flying just inches from the racetrack was, to me, the best and the most exciting position I could find for a race car. I said, the amount of thrust, uh, the amount of downforce, uh, let's make sure that uh, this car has got the performance that it needs to be a winner. We through the whole process, it was uh, very unique because the game's digital, and our design process is extremely digital on this vehicle. So uh, we kind of knew it would look pretty good in the game, um, and I think what we were looking for was something that was as innovative and pay you know, uh, homage to uh, Chaparral. The Chaparral 2X is very advanced as it is exploring new concepts in, in aerodynamics and in propulsion. And isn't that what finding new roads is all about? It's exactly what it's about. Chaparrales are always exploring new roads, and this new concept does the same.